see this on camera, the big gorilla is losing his mind right now. He is so chuffed to be here. Uh, that's right, buddy. So good to have you here, mate. Uh, we'll chat a little bit about you soon, though. As this match heats up, I just want to run some numbers by you, Wally. Talking about the calibre of the people involved in this ring as referee Matthew Clark holds up. It's all about unified tag team champions in this matchup. We have combined 15 EPW Championship reigns, 10 tag team title reigns, 3 invitational tournament wins, and 2 coastal championship runs as well. Those are some staggering numbers in a collective uh, abundance right here with these people that are in this matchup. Yeah, the experience, the talent that is uh, in this ring, these four boys. Is uh, immeasurable, and I, I, I understand it. This is not a big match. This is a huge match. Dare I say, probably the biggest EPW tag team match in the history. Uh, it, it's big fight feel. You can feel it in the arena here tonight. That's right. And I was uh, chatting to uh, Pete Crowley before uh, the show started, and of course he's been training with uh, EPW down at the EPW School of Pro Wrestling, and David Storm has been training him firsthand. So he's been learning from this man that has taught so many over the years, uh, much like people with the, the caliber of Marcus Pitt over the years, and uh, Pete Crowley and, and David Storm have, have created quite the bond. But it was an interesting thing that he told me, that his favorite is Mikey Nichols. Yeah, huge Mikey Nichols fan. I mean, how can you not? That's true. Mikey Nichols, an absolute superstar. But yeah, huge Mikey Nichols fan. Uh, I don't know if he's got his autograph yet. He does have his T-shirt. I did see him wearing the old Mikey Nichols T-shirt. It's a cool stage. shirt. I've got one as well. Like it's it is a know, cool shirt. Def definitely, definitely grab one if you're at one of our shows. Um, but yeah, well, I was chatting to Pete before. Big fan of uh, Attitude Era wrestling, which is of course is a golden time for so many of us. And uh, he's so chuffed to be learning from people the caliber of uh, David Storm. Of course, if he looks up to people like Mikey Nichols, uh, I'm sure he can't go wrong, right? Yeah, training with David Storm, looking up to guys like Mikey Nichols. Let's put him on the right path. Right. Maybe we might see uh, Steve in a tag team match in the future. It's going to be amazing to see about what we've got right here. Uh, of course, Mikey Nichols and David Storm, they won the tag team titles at Reawakening 21. Also, oh my God, a gold rush. The, the Frio street fight they had with the Pulse was uh, definitely a match of the year contender, yeah. without a doubt. It was, it was uh, far surpassed what I was expecting. Explosive Pro Wrestling have an amazing 2023 as uh, Damien Slater now, the side headlock on the Godfather. He does it so well. Shoulder blocks to go with it. Everything Damien Slater does is just so smooth. Absolute technician. Again, a cliche, an overused term, but if ever it was to be used, it's for Damien Slater. An absolute wrestling technician. But Hit hard with Davis on nice uh, textbook drop kick there. For the year, for years, and is one count, one count. One count. A bit of disrespect. Oh, well, we, we might be here for a while. It's gonna, it's gonna be good to see how what exactly it'll take for either team to go down here. Whoa! Marcus Pitt calling out his team DK brother in Mikey Nichols tossing Davis Storm across the ring like a rag. Yeah. Pickerel is getting really excited right now that Mikey Nichols is about to come into this one. Me too. I, I'm, I'm surprised. This is Marcus Pitt is just throwing it out, and I want to see. Dare I say, not too many people would be begging for Mikey Nichols to come and face them in a ring, but I guess the uh, Team DK are built a different way. Absolutely. I mean, we put Mad Mikey Nichols, but Mark, um, Marcus Pitt is one of the craziest bastards you're ever going to meet. He's one of the toughest, one of the strongest. And look at him. Like two wild animals facing each other, about to battle. Oh, wait. Slater ah. turned himself in. Come on. I was, I was hanging out for it. I want to see these big boys go at it. That might be crazy. You know what, though? Perhaps Slater is tagging Marcus, because, uh, Mar Marcus Pitt out so that he doesn't get ahead of himself and lose the mental side of the game. Very true. true. Slade is definitely uh, the, the calmer of the two in his way of temperament. The more level-headed. Oh, Marcus Pitt from behind. Or, with the two of them playing possum the whole time, playing the untouchables game. What's the other thing? The team of Mikey Nichols and Davis Storm, they haven't been tag teaming that long. Untouchables have been doing this a very, very long time. And dare I say, one of the best tag teams this entire country has. Oh, you, you would 
anyway, that's a conversation for another time. But the Untouchables know each other so well. They plan so well together. They work so well together. Uh, whilst Mikey Nichols and David Storm are as good as it gets when it comes to individuals, sometimes we need that little bit extra when it comes into the realm of tag team wrestling. Make sure these guys are the champions. They're in there with the team that have been just so good at what they do as a tag team. Absolutely. I mean, look, David Storm and Mikey Nichols working together quite well. I'm quite surprised at how well they are working together against such an experienced team like the Untouchables. That's right. So experienced. Get this also. It has been four years since the Untouchables have had a tag team title shot. That seems ridiculous to me. I mean, these are, in my opinion, the best tag team in Australian wrestling possibly ever. How the hell have they not gone for the tag team titles in the past four years? Well, they went on a small pathway of uh, individual work, which they, you know, there was there was no, you know, no, no uh, disregard amongst the friendship. But the fact that it has been that long, I find it quite surprising. I mean, in their last several matches, of course, they um they had a had a had a match up with Jesse Lambert of all people on their side against Connors Collins and Rivers at our last show. Uh, they defeated uh, two and a half wrestlers for the tag team title contendership. Uh, back at RA21, and of course they had a match against Fruz Finest last year that they won as well. Ooh, huge slap. Love to see it. It's that extra X factor that she adds, which can make all the difference as well. Not that a team that the Untouchables needs such a thing, but it always uh, adds that little bit extra. Yeah, they're talking about distractions outside the ring, and no one more distracted than Andy. I mean, she's That's distracting right. me right now. It can also turn it into almost a handicap match type scenario. Hey, Pete. Maybe you should go out there and uh, help the other lads. Well, oh, he's keen. He's keen. I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking at Amber the way that Pete Moreno looks at Mike Nichols. Uh, to be fair, many of us look at Mike Nichols that way, but fair. Amber is absolutely stunning, but you can't... Uh, you got to have your wits about it, put it that way. Untouchable's cutting off the ring here, taking it to Davis Stone, not letting Mad Mike Nichols get in the ring, playing it their style, their way. David Storm is the kind of wrestler that you need to do so much good work on to wear him down. Uh, before people were referring to him as the Godfather or the Messiah or any of that, he was known as the Iron Man for a reason. He's had multiple Iron Man matchups. He's a man that can go the distance for very, very long amounts of time and is incredibly tenacious and very well conditioned. And, uh, you know, sometimes when wrestlers do get through their career um, after some time. People, I guess, sort of brush them aside and expect them to lose that sharpness and their conditioning. That has not been the case with David Storm. If anything, he's gotten better as he's gone along. Absolutely. Like a fine line. Marcus Pitt now. The joint manipulation. Yeah. And when someone is as strong as Marcus Pitt does that to you, it is going to be so much more painful than it would under any other scenario. Firmly behind Davis Storm here. Shots to the guts. Oh, off the ropes, but Damien Slater there to save the day. And now Amber. Oh, eat defeat over the rope as well. You should let me eat the foot. Wally, that's just stop. Oh, what a leaping powerbomb there by Marcus Pitt. Strong way to break up a pin. Oh, my goodness. Huge power bomb, and then Mike Nichols nearly put his feet through that, uh, Marcus Pitt's face. Like we said, so much experience coming into this. And I mentioned before about uh, David Storm and Mikey Nichols not having a great deal of experience as a tag team together. But when it comes to the realm of tag team wrestling, these two know their stuff. Uh, Dave, David Storm has been a uh, four-time tag team champion here in EPW. Mikey's been a, a two-time tag team champion. I think of what he's done on a world scale when it comes to tag team wrestling. These guys know their stuff. It's true, that's true. Look, Mikey Nichols won tag team titles all around the world, but you are forgetting his greatest tag team partner, also. This guy right here. Uh, we were uh, a tag team to be feared back in the day. You don't say. Yeah, that's right. right. Uh, it's funny you've never mentioned that. I try to, just sneak it in every now and again. Yes, every now and then again. Uh, meanwhile, we've got Marcus Pitt. Storm goes behind, pushes him forward. He just meets the elbow of oh, Mikey. Big back body drop now. Storm needs a tag. He can get his one here. now. Oh, Slater. Just the absolute ring IQ of this man, knowing exactly what's about to happen, getting his position, 
distraction, pulling Michael Nichols off the ring apron and bringing Davis Storm back to their corner, cutting it off and just Marcus Pitt laying in the boots, hard stuff to Davis Storm. Well, Marcus Pitt and Daniel Sutter had damn near orchestral timing. The perfect moment is when they do what they need to do. It is so admirable, and like I've said, you, you, you have Amber on the outside. They don't, they don't need anyone interfering on their behalf, and you know that they don't want Jesse Lambert anywhere near Nobody anything wants they do. To. Nobody wants to. I, mean, I can't even believe this. Jesse Lambert or Amber, who are you going to be? Let's be honest. Oh, look, I love Jesse Lambert. I'd marry Amber. Yeah, that's, 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 that's not what we're talking about, though. Amber, Amber has been, Amber's telling them to trust the process of what's going on with Jesse yeah, Lambert. I, I know the Untouchables don't want him anywhere near this important matchup. Uh, they're very frustrated with what he's brought to the table. And it's... Oh! A huge chops by David Storm. Storm just going hell for leather right now. Those are some chops that you know Mikey's nodding with approval on the outside of ring apron. We're talking about... Whoa! Oh, goodness! Huge! Massive huge German suplex. Yes, that oh, yes, that clash of heads from the untouchable. Oh, beautiful high knee strike. Finds the point of the draw and Damien Slater. Storm again has bought himself some time, but again he needs that tag to Mikey because Mikey's jumping out of his skin almost as much as Pete Corelli is wanting to see Mikey get into this one. If Mikey can't get in very soon, this match is going to be over and the untouchables will the tag is made. And Mikey Nichols is in. Oh, big clothesline by the mad one. Laying waste to Slater. Throw the, oh, here we go. This is what we've been wanting to see. Big boy's going at it. Oh. Who has the upper oh. strength? Who has the upper hand? Man. This is an absolute blessing that we get to call this. Oh, this is a huge clothesline by Mikey Nichols. Marcus Pitt off his feet. Double clothesline now by Mikey. Like we said, he's been spending a lot of time in Japan with New Japan Pro Wrestling, and you know how tough some of the competition is over there and how hard people hit. You know, Mikey comes back each time tougher, more grizzled, more determined, and more ready to unleash hell. On the EPW roster as right now, he's got him up. He looks like he's set up for a superplex. Trying to get the crowd into it. Jamie Slater. Oh, 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 oh. Huge forearm there oh. by Mikey Nichols. Like he was a fastball pitcher. August. Oh my goodness! Huge avalanche uh, super picks from the top rope. Right. That's got to be... No, um, Marcus Pitt got the shot. Did you see the look on his face after he took that move? I thought he was on another player. That's it, yeah, not senseless. Goodness. Mikey Nichols must be wondering what the hell he's going to do to get the job done. I mean, he knows Marcus Pitt very well and knows what it needs to, to take to get the job done against him. But man, this match is on another level here tonight. Huge interview there by Damien Slater. The Untouchables are so good at their tag team work together. Oh, huge super kick right to Storm's face. Off the ropes now. Oh, nicely evaded there by Oh, high and low. Mikey landing high on the back of his neck, but he might be out. David Storm up on the... Sorry, Damien Slade up on the top rope. Oh, we've seen that before. We have. Oh, Mikey Nick was kicked out. I don't think anyone's ever kicked out of that move before. Damien Slade looks shocked. Rightfully so. Marcus Pitt. Can't believe it. Cannot believe it. Oh, wait, 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 oh, wait. Oh, my God. Jesse Lambert has come out to ringside. Of course, he had that brutal matchup. The East London street fight earlier on this evening with, with Hartness. But Hartness yeah, didn't do a good enough job. The Untouchables do not want him out here. Nobody involved does. in this matchup. This is a very important matchup. If he ruins it for the Untouchables here tonight, oh, God help him. Marcus Pitt into the rope. Got both the untouchables. Double DDT. Damien Slater, Marcus Pitt spiked on their heads. Now the tables have turned. It's Mikey Nichols who needs to get the tag out to Davis Storm. Well, I don't know how fresh Davis Storm is, how much time he's had to recuperate, but the tag is made and Davis Storm back in the match. 
Pete Corelli super excited to see his mentor showing the heart and determination that we all love to see from him. And touches his mid. Oh! oh! Oh, nicely evaded there. I saw that coming. Oh, STF. Beautifully held in there by Damien Slater Amber. Just taunting Davis Storm now. Marcus Pitt is holding Mikey Nichols back. This is crazy. Jesse Lambert's out here too. Of course, the Untouchables. Their first comeback match last year. They lost the two and a half minutes. Did it again? Now this is it. This might be it. Right in the center. Then we could have ourselves new tag team champions. Mikey Nichols finally oh, carries. Oh, oh, just did a death valley drive from Marcus Pitt onto Damien Slater. Oh my God. Of course, Amber seems to have changed their tune about, about Jesse Lambert as she's telling him to stay in his place. Stay in the corner. Crowd saying this is awesome. Absolutely big fight feel, huge fight feel for the unified EPW and SHWA Tag Team Championships here tonight. Just quickly, do you think Amber's had a change of heart with Jesse Lambert? Do you think she's got something more mischievous in, in, in mind? Uh, I think it's pretty Amber is intelligent, she's hot, she's beautiful, and she doesn't want Jesse Lambert. She's playing the game, it's a long oh, game. Got a roll up. Only two. Got a kiss out here. Oh, oh Slater. I love that Damien Slater heel kick. Oh! Are we gonna see F5? No, no, we're gonna. Oh, what a counter by Damien Storm! He was of receiving an F5 and turn it into a DDT. Jesus! My goodness! Mikey Nichols taking Marcus Pitt over the top rope with a flying cross body. Pete, just settle down, mate. I know how excited you are and how big this, this is. is. Oh, oh. oh, the champions nearly retained. Unbelievable. This matchup. What are we, I mean, who's going to take this out? These four boys, obviously. Oh, Jesus! Overhead, belly to belly on the stage. Mikey Nichols went down hard. Obviously, the biggest prize in tag team wrestling in Perth and possibly Australian wrestling on the line here tonight. But these four boys putting everything into this match tonight. I cannot see who is going to come out on top. Oh, we're going to see this lethality. No, Storm. Only two. Be what it takes. Oh, oh my god, huge super kick there by Damien Slater. Oh, he might have got him in the throat. Here we go, he's going to get up to the Slatality. He's ended up no. Storm now, go for the Storm. Oh, huge swinging eye of the Storm planning Damien Slater down hard. He is out like a light. Cut it, referee, leg. it is over. Angle pin. Marcus Pitt, I spoke about their timing earlier. But Where did he come from? He, he, he found a way. Uh, we mentioned earlier on in, in the call that uh, the, the, the Frio street fight between the Pulse and uh, Mark and Dave might have been a match of the year contender. We've definitely seen one here. Now, oh, springboard. I mean, that match was hard enough to call with the action going on around the arena, but this is insane. I can't keep up with it. Dave is still chucking Marcus Pitt out. Wow! Amber with a low blow to the Godfather. This is what we don't need in this matchup. It's so smart. We're seeing such pure pro wrestling in its finest form, and then this has to happen. Like, come on. She's just doing what she's doing to be. Yeah, Look well, pretty and creating distractions. Forget her looks. This is all about her, her, her devious nature. Now she's trying to get Lambert to, to take out Storm with the, with the tag title belt. Go on, Jesse. Give it a go. No, don't give it go a go, on, Jesse. Buddy. You're better than this. Go on, do what they say. It's better for you. You are better and smarter than this. Your haircut might show otherwise, but you certainly are, Lambert. Put down. The, there you go. Good. How do you do that properly? Oh, turn it up, Wally. Jesse Lambert knows better. Oh! oh! Super kiss! Super kiss! Into the tag title belt! Pit now! Jesse Lambert might have just caused enough of a destruction! Oh, a cut above! Oh, he's on! Oh my god! They did it! They did it! We've got new Unified Tag Team Champions! The Untouchables have defeated Mikey Nichols and David Stormont! 
Oh my goodness! I Amber's can't believe plan. it. Amber's plan worked to perfection. I mean, now he just loved it. Pinball. Couldn't get the job done, uh, but he did cause enough of a distraction. And the untouchables come away with the unified EPW XXW Tag Team Champion, Pihan Hachabo! This is absolutely humongous, Wally. We have new tag team champions here at Collision Course. The Untouchables have got the gold, all the gold, back with them. Unreal. Let's hope they... Yes! <laughs> Does not want to have a part of their celebration. The ring. This was a marvellous showcase of just how good the tag team division is in Explosive Pro Wrestling. I'm, I'm incredibly upset that Amber got involved in Lambert, how he partially got involved.